Okay, hi everyone, Judy here. Welcome to my channel. Today is another Bisaya Word of the Week series, and our lesson is common phrases used in the hospital or clinic. This is the part one. This video, uh, this lesson will run for um, two to three weeks and after that we will have another um, set of lessons okay so if you are new to my channel my name is judy and i am teaching conversational cebuano i am not uh, going to teach you the technicalities of the cebuano grammar because i'm not that really good in that um, field in that area but I do know someone who is better than me. You must check him out. His name is Just for Kicks. He is teaching some Cebuano lessons also in his channel. Okay, now let's start with our lesson for today. Now, these are doctor's questions and um, this is the patient interview. And these are the usual phrases that you will really hear from the doctors basic first encounter with patient we have hi mom sir naunsa man ka usually that's the accent the tone of voice okay naunsa man ka it's it's more like pacifying a softer side um, in english that is what happened to you we have here naunsa means uh, from the root word unsa means what Naunsa means what happened. And then ka is you. Okay, naunsa man ka, sir. What happened to you? Next, we have, okay, just wait. We have unsay problema. What is the problem? Now, we have here another unsa. It has a contracted Y. So, the contracted Y here is a uh, a word of ang. It's supposed to be unsa ang problema. But you know, as Cebuano, we like to shortcut words and phrases. So we say it like this unsay problema. You can also say unsa ang problema. But you can, um, but if you're like us who is a bit lazy, you say unsay problema. What's the problem? Okay, there are a lot of uh, uses for the contracted Y, and uh, for this instance, uh, it's a, a contracted of the word ang. Okay, uh, as we know, ang is the equivalent of that is the, but in English, the contracted Y it doesn't literally have um, exact equivalent. Okay, for the English language. So, in this case, uh, if you see the contracted Y, um, that is a shortcut form of some words. But this phrase, the contracted Y, is the contracted word of ang. Okay? All right, I hope that is clear. <laughs> Next, uh, okay, what we have, uh, and then, so unsa is what, and then problema is problem. Okay, these are the common answers here. So, we have na plus the verb or ga plus verb or noun. Okay, let me get, get give you some examples. We have na hulog, means fell. Na slide, okay, a slide, slipped, okay. Na tumba, that means out balance. Na lig san, run over or hit by a car or whatever. And then we have na pa akan, bitten. Okay, bitten by a cat, dog. Okay, na pa akan. Cat means uh, earring. Dog is ero. Okay, cat is earring. Dog is ero. Na pa akan og earring. Na pa akan og ero. Okay. Okay, the, let's go to the ga plus the noun or verb. Um, common, um, what's this? Common medical problems. We have ga hilanat means you're having fever. Gasuka means you're vomiting. Ga kalibanga, diarrhea. Ga luspad, 
that means the color is your the skin color is pale and then galisud o ginhawa means you have difficulty in breathing okay another example here a sentence um gahilanat ko if you're talking about yourself you just add ko at the end okay gahilanat ko that means you're having fever okay next sigi ko ga suka sigi means always um not really always but um the frequent the frequency is um not normal okay sigi ko ga suka ko is um you're referring to yourself okay Sorry, okay, let's go there. So, you can see here, the ko, instead of just ko, there is an ng, okay? You will notice in our grammar, the ng here, if you notice, it is added usually in um, uh, in pronouns, okay, like ko, kong, okay? It is actually a contracted of the word nga, the linker nga. Okay, so instead of sigi ko nga gasuka, that's already very long. You just say sigi ko gasuka. Okay, gasuka we have uh, that's vomiting. And then next we have ga kalibanga ko. Kalibanga ko that means I'm having diarrhea. And then ga lisud ko oginawa. It's the same thing as this. You have difficulty in breathing. Okay, next uh, another doctor's questions. Asa da pita ang sakit? They will definitely ask this. Where is the pain? Asa da pita ang sakit? Okay. Asa is where? And then the pita, you have to tell the exact location, the pita. And then sakit is pain. Next, we have kani. Kani, sakit. Is this painful? Kani is this. And then, sakit is painful. Okay, here are some of the common answers. We have o or o o, but usually you say o. It's a long o. It means yes. And then, dili means no. Kani, this. Kana, that means that. Saka means um, a little uh, up. And then, obos, down. Kilid, side. Tuo is right. Wala is left. Plus with the word gamay means little. Okay, if we usually when we point into something in 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 our body, we usually say um, go up a little bit. We say saka gamay. Okay, saka gamay or you go down a little bit. Ubos gamay, kilid gamay, too gamay. All right. So next we have another one. Kanus a man ga kanusa mani ga sugod okay kanusa means when ga sugod started okay when did it start okay now i just want to discuss this uh, a man actually the man here is added for emphasis sometimes to make the sentence on the softer side and to make you sound more polite so adding man is um, a pretty good idea because um, if you want to be more polite, to be more on the softer side and more sweet, uh, okay, uh, you add man. Okay, kanus a man. Okay, kanus a niga so good man. But usually the man is in between the sentences. All right. So in Visaya, I have to let you know, guys, uh, the difference between Visaya Cebuano and the Tagalog Filipino. The Tagalog Filipino is they have this po or opo to make them sound more respectful and more polite. In Cebuano, we don't have that. So that's why we have to have man, ha, uh, the man word or the ha word. And we have to watch out for our tone of voice because we don't have the po or opo. Okay, to. Uh, as a sign that we are respectful and polite. So we must, if you are learning the language, you must take note of the tone of voice and try to use the ha and man. Okay? So let's go. Let's proceed. This one. Pwede nako tan-awon 
aku a hikapon ha. So this one, this phrase, the doctor is asking permission to to check and to touch you. Okay, so pwede means can. Nako is he is referring to who the to himself or herself. And then tanawon is to see or check. Okay, akua is like a in possession. But in this case, akua, it's used like a particular, particularization. Okay, akua, I will. And then hekapon, okay, there's a verb after that. And then ha. So hekapon means touch. And then ha. Ha is like okay in English, okay. So it's like you're pacifying the customer or the client or your patient. Right? Okay, next. Kanus um, a. This is very common. The doctor usually asks when is the last meal, last pee, last pooped, okay? Um, and how many uh, volume of water have you intake during that day? Okay, now let's go to here. Um, kanus a ang kinatapusang kaon. Okay, now let, let's break this down. Kanus a is when. Ang is the. Kinatapusang um, last, okay? Kaon means the meal, okay? The food intake. You can also say, uh, see this, the NG here. Actually, it should be kinatapusan. It means the end or the last. And then we put the NG here. It's, it's a contracted of um, the nga linker. So, since there is already an N, you just add G. Okay? So, we have here, let's proceed. Okay, kaon is meal. Kanusa ang kinatapusang kaon. Or you can just say, kanusa ang last nga kaon. Okay? We just add the English word last because a lot of Filipinos understand what is last. That means you are at the end. Okay? The last kaon. So, when is the last meal? Okay, next we have um, kanusa ang kinatapusang or last ihi. Ihi is pee. Okay, when was the last time you pee? Okay, when was the last you peed? Okay, another one. Kanusa ang kinatapusang or last nga libang. Libang is poop. Poop. Okay. Okay, ihi and then libang is poop. Okay, now, in Tagalog, okay, I have to stress this this out. Um, the libang, okay, the word libang in Tagalog that is having fun or entertainment. In Cebuano, it means poop, okay? <laughs> These are the, the different meanings but with the same uh, word and sound in Filipino. All right, next one. Um, Kanus a... Ang kinatapusang inom o tubig. Okay? Inom, inom is um, drunk. Okay? And then to, tubig is water. Okay, now common answer. You, these are very usual. Kaganihang buntag. Kaganiha. From the root word ganiha. Okay? It's a while ago or earlier this morning, afternoon, dawn, or evening. Kaganihang buntag. You will also notice this, the NG. It is added here. It is uh, It's supposed to be kaganihang nga buntag. But, you know, again, we have to contract that because we are lazy. Buntag means earlier this morning. Kaganihang buntag means earlier this morning. Or kaganihang uto, it means... um. Earlier this noon, kagabi it means last night. Kagabi is last night. You don't add kaganihang kagabi. Okay, you just say kagabi if you mean last night. Now, if you mean dawn, you just say ganihang kadlaon or kaganihang kadlaon. Ganihang kadlaon is another shortcut of kaganihang. Okay, you can you can actually uh, remove or uh, uh, remove the ka can say ganihang kadlaon okay or in here gabi you can also remove the ka here you can say gabi that means it's also last night okay now um, if you say karun lang 
it means just now. Okay, karun lang. Just now. Um, just now what? Is it morning, evening, or dawn? You say, karun lang gabi. Karun lang buntag. Karun lang udto. Okay? That is more specific, specific as to when you last feed, when you last poop. Okay? Now, let's go to... The doctor usually asks, what time? So, this is very exact uh, time of the day. What time means unsa urasa. What means unsa? Time is urasa. Okay, this is the, the sequence when you say the time. We have alas. This is actually the plural form in Spanish when you say time. So, um, and then we also have the singular form here. It's ala. Okay, ala. So, plus time, plus sa, plus time of the day. The time of the day could be uh, buntag, udto, hapon, kadlaon, okay, or uh, gabi. So, this is how you say it, okay? Ala una. So, una mean uh, instead of uno, which means one, okay? Ala una. So, alas dos. For two, you do use alas already, okay? Alas dos, alas tres, alas cuatro, alas cinco, alas seis, alas siete, alas ocho, alas nueve, alas diez, alas once, alas doce. And if it's in if it's in half an hour, you say immediate. So you say alas dos immediate, alas tres immediate. Okay. Um, and then you just add time of the day. Alas dos sa buntag or alas dos sa hapon, alas dos sa gab uh, not gabi alas alas siete sa gabi okay alas ocho sa gabi or alas ocho sa buntag or alas ocho yeah right alas nueve sa gabi or alas nueve sa buntag and if it's to say um, alas another example is alas tres sa kadlaon that means it's three a.m. okay I hope that is clear. Okay. <laughs> Next. Pila ka baso nga tubig imong na inom. Okay, that's very long. Okay, let's break this down. Okay. Pila means how. Okay, wait. How many? Next. Baso means glasses. And then tubig is water. So, you can see here, this is nga. You can actually say, pila ka basong tubig. Okay, just remove the A and then connect the NG here. But you can also do this, okay, if you don't want to um, break it, to contract it. Okay, pila ka baso nga tubig, water. Tubig is water. And then, imong means you. And then, na inom, which means drunk. Okay, how many glasses of water you drank? Pila kabaso nga tubig imong na inom. Next, we have naay, kaliwat, high blood, diabetes, hubak, or cancer. Okay, um, naa means have. There is another contracted Y here. But this does not mean it is equivalent to the uh, to ang, okay? Um, we sometimes use this uh, y here to show the um, what's this? The existence of an object, okay, or person, okay? Shows the existence of it. Um, I like the naa. It also means have. Okay, it also means have. Um, and then na, it also means it shows the exact location of an object or person. Like for example, na sa la mesa. It's on the table. Okay. Alright, this one, na na ay kaliwat high blood. Okay, kaliwat here, it means uh, relatives or descendants. Alright, so... Okay. Na ay kaliwat high blood diabetes hubak. The hubak here is asthma. Okay, asthma. Alright, so uh, let's go to the common answer. We have 
Naa. Okay, when you are answering, um, if the person is asking if you have this, if you have that, naa ka, naa kay ingunani, naa ay, the naa, as long as the person is asking for naa or naa ay, if he, the person is using that word, the common answer is naa. But you don't answer naa ay, okay? It should be naa. Okay, common answer, u or wala, that means no one. Next, we have kinsa sa imong pamilya. If the answer is yes, naa, um, you, the doctor will ask, kinsa sa imong pamilya, who in your family? Okay, the common answer, okay, let's break this down first. Kinsa means who, uh, we know um, sa is equivalent to in, at, on, to, okay, sa. And then imong is your and then, familia is your family. The common answer to that, um, aku ang papa. Okay, there is a particularization here. Um, yeah, aku ang papa, and then that means my father. Aku ang mama, my mother. Aku ang igsuon, sibling. Aku ang tiyo, means uncle. Aku ang tiya, means aunt. aunt. Aku ang lulo means grandpa. Ako ang lola means grandma. My father, my mother, my grandpa. Okay, ako ah means it's mine or my. Now, let's proceed this one. Manigarilyo. Okay, this is the last slide. This is very common. Okay, manigarilyo ka sir or ma'am. Do you smoke, sir or ma'am? Okay. Manigarilyo means smoke. Okay, smoking cigar. Next, we have pila man ka stick imong mahurot sa isa ka adlaw. Pila man ka stick imong mahurot sa isa ka adlaw. So, the pila man is how many, okay? The ka here is referring to number of pieces. It's not referring to the person you're talking to, but the number of pieces of cigar that you can finish in a day. Pila man ka stick imong mahurot sa sakadlaw? How many stick of cigar imong that you can finish in one day? In one day, isa ka adlaw. Usual answer for that is usa ka kaha. That means one cigar. Kaha is one box of cigar. Okay, or duha ka kaha, duha ka cigar. Uh, two cigar, sorry. <laughs> two cigar. Okay, duha is two. Usa is one. Okay, usa, duha. Uh, you might want to check how to count in Bisaya. I also have a video on that. Just check out my playlist. Okay, and I also discussed the ka as well. There's also another video on that. You might want to check on that also. Alright, this is the end of part one of our common phrases and Common phrases in hospitals, in the clinic, okay? So, watch out for the part two next week. Okay, so if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you just comment down in the comment section below. I will add this into the website, c111.com. If you haven't subscribed, um, uh, or member in my in my say one 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 site. Just go over there. In order, of, uh, you have to log in via Facebook or Gmail. Okay, Gmail, Google. Okay, I prefer the Google because it's very easy to log in. So you just log in there in order for you to access all the learning materials. Okay. All right, so I think that's all for today, guys. And as usual, I want to thank you for taking the time off to study my lessons and to be with me. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.